more than 100 stitches and a gaping hole in his cheek. This two year old was rushed to the hospital after being attacked by a dog. WRTV's Adam Shum shares his family's story and the message tonight from doctors. This is two year old Jay Mari Moore. So to be three. Two years ago, his mom watched him come into this world. He loves Spider Man. His mom says she got quite the scare last weekend. My first thought was make sure my son could make it to the hospital. So I ran to the car and told his dad to drive. His mom says Moore was outside an apartment complex near 14th and Arlington when a stray dog bit him on the side of his face. The two year old was rushed to Riley Hospital for children, where he got more than 100 stitches. From the time we got in the car and his dad pulled out the apartment to the time we got to the hospital, my son did not cry, did not breathe, did not do anything. I thought I lost my child at that moment. His attack wasn't the first Riley Hospital has seen. Their numbers show that kids being bit by dogs are more common than you may think. From the start of 2022 to May of this year, 144 kids have been treated for dog or animal bites. So that's a year and a half. For perspective, the total number of kids bitten between 2017 and 2021 combined is 363, and that's four years of data. I would say that we basically always have a baseline number of kids coming in for dog bites. So I don't Dr. Jason Little with Peyton Manning Children's Hospital says it's important for parents to stay calm once they realize their child may have been bit. Control the bleeding by just applying direct pressure. Um, once you've done that, you can cleanse it a little bit at home with uh, running water under the faucet. Little recommends making sure that children are up to date on their tetanus shots. He adds that a child may see an infection within roughly 24 hours. Increasing pain, pus drainage, fever, increasing swelling. Make sure you treat your dog with love, care. For Jamari, he says he has one simple message for the doctors who saved his life. Say thank you, everybody. Adam Shumes, WRTV. Now the family tells WRTV that Jamari has been released from the hospital and is expected to make a full recovery. Riley Children's Health released tips to if you have a child that is bitten by a dog. First, stay calm for yourself and your child. Get to a safe place away from the dog. Identify the dog's owner and get the dog's vaccination status. Clean a minor scrape with warm water and soap. Get medical attention if the bite has broken the skin, if your child has been injured with has injured bones, joints or tendons, or if the bite is on the head, face, neck, hands or feet.